Buenos dias and welcome to our day in Arequipa, Peru. If you know us, then you know we like to stay in Airbnbs because we like to cook, we like a kitchen, and we like a table to work. But we've had a lot and a lot of stuff going on recently, a little bit more on that later. So we decided to book a nice hotel and we are here at the Wyndham in Arequipa. Because we are so special, we get a free complimentary breakfast here. So we're gonna go get some food right now. I need a fork. Why don't you just wait and be patient? <laughs> <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> Got some fruit, but waiting to see if they can make me a plate with some veggies and potatoes and maybe avocado. The struggles of being vegan in foreign countries, honestly, but I think they'll be able to make me something. Our hotel did not have any kind of plant milk for our coffees, so now we are walking to a cafe to get a little latte, and then we are going to go back to the hotel and get some work done. Exciting stuff, guys. Now we are going back to our hotel to sit by the pool and get some work done. I'm excited to sit by the pool. Me too. There's a hot tub. Ooh, Ooh hot tub. <laughs> All right, we just sat down by the pool to get some work done. But before we begin our work, we thought it would be a good time just to kind of let you in on our lives a little bit more. From our videos, it kind of seems like we have these amazing travel experiences all the time. And while that is true, we do run into some difficulties quite a lot of the time. After leaving Cusco, our plan was to go to Puno and do a super authentic homestay. So after Cusco, we took an eight hour bus ride to Puno just to find out that our contact was not going to respond to us. And we kind of just wanted to share this part of our lives and our travel experiences with you just to let you know that we run into some problems quite often and things aren't always as perfect as they may seem. So once we found out about our contact not answering us, we decided to come to Arequipa, which is where we are now, booked ourselves a nice hotel because we deserve it after going through all of that. Before we go explore the city a little bit, let's get some work done. How much? Um, 193 a night. Wow. Something that you might not know about Alex is that he has a spending problem and always <laughs> likes the top of the top things. So the nicest hotels, the nicest hats, the nicest shoes, nice the nicest category. even water bottle, honestly, or even like literally a plastic bottle. So he has a little bit of a spending problem. He hasn't gotten too much of the way of our travels yet, but just the more you know, the more you know. Only the best of the best, of course. I mean, obviously. <laughs> Only the best of the best for Mr. Alexander Wasserman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's enough work today. Now we are going to go explore Arequipa a little bit. So we'll see you in a second. We are here in the plaza now and it is absolutely beautiful. Definitely the happening of the city as in any colonial city. It's true. Yeah. Also, one thing we wanted to mention is Arequipa is weirdly extremely extremely clean Definitely. i don't think i've ever been in a city that's this clean before yeah it's, it's, it's actually really weird there's like no dog shit on the streets <laughs> there's no piles of trash if you've ever been to cusco then you know it's filthy disgusting city yeah arequipa on the other hand complete opposite complete opposite it's super calm super clean and honestly it's quickly becoming one of our favorite yeah. cities in peru Definitely. <laughs> Plaza, there are a ton of restaurants and bars to watch the sunset at and that's actually why we came to the plaza but we see our friends Eric and Sarah from the bombs away over there so we're gonna go sneak up on them or actually I think they see us so let's go <laughs>
So we found our friends. Woohoo! So totally random, not yeah, planned by the way. <laughs> and go subscribe to them. <laughs> now going to find a restaurant where we can sit here in the plaza and enjoy the sunset. By the way, our friends followed us here. Not sure why, but I'm just kidding. But we're happy to have them here. <gasps> Is this our last night together? No. Paracas. No. Paracas. Paracas? Okay. I got scared for a second. <laughs> We've been traveling with these guys for the past like month or so, but they're moving on somewhere else and then we're going to a different country soon. So kind of getting sad that this is going to be one of our last nights with you guys. Right? Aww. Aww. You're going to miss the Canadians. We're going to miss eh? you guys. Honestly, what doesn't Peru have? Am I That's right? Sure, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Sick view, huh? Beautiful. Thank you to me. Thank you to you. For finding it? Why don't you found it? Oh. <laughs> Are you gonna say thank you? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Guys, I thought I found it, but I didn't. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> wow, you got like a shot, man. Muy rico. Bueno? Si, si, bueno, bueno. Gracias. Yeah. Excellent. On a normal day, we do not drink. We honestly <laughs> rarely, rarely, rarely drink. But I mean, this view is insane and had to get a little, a little red wine. Yeah, and Eric and Sarah brings it out of us also. <laughs> yeah, so. I, I was just gonna say, we're not gonna be picky about the wine. We like any type of wine or alcohol, <laughs> <laughs> let's be real. Friendship, friendship, friendship. 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 Oh, it's, oh, so it's good. actually really it's good. good. That's so it's good. delicious. Cheers, guys. Cheers. We are now back at our hotel. We had such a fun night with our friends. And I think now we are going to order some room service in a bit. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bath because we rarely stay in places that have baths and I'm going to take full advantage of that. So while my bath is getting started, I just wanted to kind of talk about self-care a little bit. I feel like it's super important that we take care of ourselves, mostly for our mental health and doing things for our mental health, such as taking a bath, journaling, meditating, yoga, whatever you prefer. But for me, taking a bath is something that really helps with just my overall happiness. So I'm super happy that there is a bathtub right now. and. I'm gonna relax for a little bit because traveling full time can be super, super exhausting. And it's important for me personally to have moments like this. I encourage you to do the same. Food? Yeah! Buenas, quiero servicio. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, por favor. Buenas noches. Time to eat. I'm starving. You didn't get anything. Okay, well, I was going to order, but then I remembered I had leftover sushi. So Alex got food, and I'm gonna eat the leftover sushi. It is time to eat and watch some YouTube. Oh, yes. Bon provecho. We finished eating dinner, and now we are gonna lay in bed, watch some Netflix, and chill. <laughs> yeah, that is the plan. So, because of that, the video is ending now.